Namaste. My name is Sudha Menon and today I am going to talk about including art into the education system. You must have heard about art. Art is there in all around us. Art is there the way we decorate our room. The art is there uh, in the way we dress. Art is there uh, the way we uh, uh, work in the garden. Art is there if there is a car in our house, how the car uh, has been designed, that is an art. So uh, art is playing an important role in all our day-to-day uh, -day lives. So how to include art into curriculum, that is what we are going to talk about today. So let me just tell you what is art. Art is said to be any creative expression or form which can be conveyed to others where words are not really necessary. Okay, so the arts can be, uh, it can be verbal form, it can be written form, it can be enactment form, it can be visual form. And remember one thing, art is also inclusive. The people who are deaf, blind and dumb, it's a very good mode of uh, conveying messages to such people it is inclusive we must have uh, you remember watching mime and all where uh, actually the words are not used we paint our face with white and wear black dresses and convey such beautiful messages now why art is important see you must have heard about stem science technology engineering and mathematics now this stem has become steep where art has been included. Art is included in all, all around us uh, by, by uh, any ways if you see. Okay, so uh, it, is a cross, uh, it is a cross curricular approach. It is a cross curricular approach where teaching of the subjects is, uh, it, goes, it goes parallelly with the art forms. Now, uh, it does not mean that the subject art which used to be there during uh, in the school now also it is there as a part of a sub as a subject. So it, it has not that has not to be removed. That subject will be there as it is. See, there is it has a very uh, potential impact on every person's uh, education. Uh, the thing is, if suppose uh, due to any circumstances, uh, a, a child is unable to pursue his academics so he definitely has a very potential skill with him which he can uh, be very successful in his life now why why art is important see as uh, we know art uh, develops the creativity of a child child it makes the subject very joyful at it and it links the subject with the uh, real life situations it is an experiential learning. It develops the inquiry of a child. And we have already said that it is inclusive. Now, how, how does art help uh, in the education system? Mm -hmm. See, it is, uh, as we said, it is multidisciplinary. It relates uh, the subject to our real life. Then it makes the subject very joyful. Pedagogy, pedagogy becomes joyful. Then the child uh, becomes more creative, imaginative. And then uh, there is there is a development of the brain where uh, by looking at the art, the visual uh, imprint of a visual impact of a child, uh, he can create a mental uh, image of it. For example, if you're showing a picture to a child, so the child is looking at the picture and he starts framing a story looking at the picture. Isn't that amazing? So that is the impact of art. Now why the art has taken a backstage? That is due to because we are so much focusing on the subject and there is also a misconception in all of us that if we are not good in our academics, there is no proper job etc. for the future. It is high time we have to uh, focus on different things. It's there is a lot of scope for children apart from academics also. There are many successful people who because of their certain art uh, uh, form they are quite successful. 
and also academics has become understandable because of including uh, the art way of communicating to the children it's important that art be included in classes uh, in the primary classes at least twice a week and uh, the reason is it also uh, till the senior secondary schools six scholastic areas is covered under this uh, if the art forms are uh, included in the uh, education and this culinary is a very beautiful idea for classes 6 to 8 the cooking ideas so uh, you remember the way uh, you used to enjoy your mother's food the way she has cooked it there are many dishes which we try to cook the same way the uh, our moms have prepared so that's a very wonderful idea for art form for the children now there are a few activities which uh, which uh, can be given to the children uh, which is as a teaching tool so the 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 uh, art of uh, storytelling the art of painting the art of coloring the art of installation and then uh, the photo shoots uh, then uh, make film making uh, then uh, street dramas okay these are all beautiful art forms which can be included in the uh, children and for the uh, pre primary children it is the clay modeling uh, the art of storytelling the t- telling of rhyme then role plays uh, okay and uh, collage work paper mache and uh, these are all very beautiful forms which should be very seriously introduced by all the teachers uh, in the school level so that uh, education is not just depending upon uh, mere academics and learning what is already there in the book instead we focus more on the creativity and imagination of a child so that uh, each child's each day in the school becomes more enjoyable and they become more uh, they they very in a very early stage they start uh, having that uh, potential of decision making critical thinking problem solving and they have to become uh, successful in the future so this is all i have tried to very uh, short in a very short way i have tried to sum up about the importance of art in today's curriculum so uh, in case of uh, further query you can get in touch with me on 7356666101 thank you